And we're back with part two. Lakewood update. Flatbush Girl. We're in the middle of discussing Flatbush Girl. But I don't know how much time I'm going to have, and I don't want to spend the whole program on Flatbush Girl. I do want to say that I've issued a challenge to debate her and her husband on the Zeb Brenner show on Motsi Shabbos Kodesh. I don't know if she'll accept. I offered to debate them one against two. I offered that she could bring as many people as she wants. I offered if she's scared to come on with me, let her take her time. I'll take my time. We'll speak separately. Zeb Brenner was interested. We'll see if it happens. I will be on 9 o'clock on Monday on station WSNR, 6.20 a.m. I'll be spending the hour with Heshi Tishla. Heshi Tishla is running for district leader in the 48th, Borough Park, and he's partnering with her, even though she's running as a female district leader in the 48th in Flatbush. I told Heshi I would support him because I'm Makatoyev, he did and although I don't agree with some of his views, and he's a little bit all over the place, but I believe he has a late toif, he has a good heart, and he's going to help people. He has helped people. And I saw on him personally that he got a girl into a base Yaakov when she was sitting home for months. And Heshi Tishler got her into base Yaakov, the daughter of a big time of So that alone, I managed owe him big time, number two. Number three, I could say Adas. He came to my house once at four or five o'clock in the morning for a purpose to help me out with a construction problem. And he had already, either he was on his way or he had already gone to feed his mother early, early in the morning, way before six o'clock. So with such keep it aim and our big heart, even if I disagree with some of the things he does, I don't think that he's gonna hurt us on the moral issues. Therefore, I think it's only right to support him. However, the partner that he has in the absolutely opposable nafshi. Not because she's not nice. I love her father, and I want you to know, I didn't even realize that it was her father. I thought it was her brother, and I didn't realize who the family was until I found out because she made a video sitting next to her father and mother, and her mother was very hurt and irritated. She's speaking Russian, hurry, you are rough. And the mother revealed to me that that family used to dive into my shul for years. And then I looked at the father, who I still thought was her brother, and I said, oi vey, that's Rabbi Eli Miles, a tzaddik of a younger man. And the sons of Sir Sadiqim. And I no, no, and I saw he was uncomfortable when the daughter was asking, What do you say about Rabbi Levin? She might have wanted to listen. He should curse me out if I called his daughter a wiffle ball. He said, Tzaddik. He said, You know, I would have preferred he didn't or something like that. He says, I know Rabbi Levin, he's a very fine person, but he gets emotionally involved and he goes all the way when he thinks something is against the Torah. No, I'm so sorry, Rabbi Ellie and Rabbi Tzinelli. The mother's a professor. A very highly intelligent woman, obviously. I read out about her, that she's voted in America the third most popular professor in America. That's the Misa. It's a hush of a lady. I really, really feel bad, but I can't allow my association with your family and my appreciation of your tzitkis. The fact is your daughter is poison for the tzibur. She is hapech of her role model. And therefore, I can't stand by it. It's al dam reacha. It's 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 an avayv ha'haftayach kamoicha. Where are the rabbis? Who knows where they are? Will anybody say anything? Will anybody step on toes? That's the problem today. Everybody's politically correct. It's a hefkevel the wild west, where a person who is hepech. What do we need? Swara by nashim bechlal, but certainly such a person who says we should deal with the gays and dialogue and runs around. And, and puts videos and pictures, proud posing, lady and lady. I just want to know, would she feel comfortable going into a bathroom together with this he, she? If she answers yes, is she going to advocate to all benoists you saw they should go into bathrooms and fraternize with he, she's? This is the role model of Man Hashem. Oh, I'm upset. I'm 11. You sound like a fanatic. You sound like you're, 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 you're a hater. Yeah, Havi Hashem Sinura. I hate the wrongness of it. I don't hate Mrs. Miles. Uh, uh, what's a, a, a sash? Her married name is. I don't hate her. Have Rachmanis on her. Hashem should send her a Fushalema, Yeshua. She should be Matzliach, but she should go into private industry, not to Instagram to 38,000 people and make all kinds of priestess sticker, shitriya sticker, superficial or worse. Uh, encouraging videos, encouraging cons conspicuous consumerism. 
etc. The girl should go up to here. And then she made a video against me. And the video against me, she was dishonest, a shakranit. And I said at one point in something, I said, the masses are asses, not behinds, chamoyim, jackasses. So she quotes me, she has me on, but she edits out the word not. So it comes out, like I said, the masses are asses, behinds, and then jackasses. So she, she does that devious kind of shtick. That already means she's a shakranit. This lady is footsteps light. Footsteps encourages the people once they've left already to reach their potential and not to do choiza b'tshuva and, to, and to, 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 to dance on Yom Kippur and to eat for, you know, all the garbage that footsteps does. This woman is footsteps light within the community. She might be doing more damage than footsteps because footsteps only does the damage when the person's left already and they find a makam lonus then footsteps gives them support and everything else. But she's just, she is desanctifying the innocence of elementary school girls, she stresses. The teachers don't give them up. Z fashtate besa. Give out to Gishrim. What else, Rabbi Say? What else, Rabbi Say? Let me see. Let me see. She also published on the internet about me and her piece, and her hit piece on me. She went on, she went on to Wikipedia. Wikipedia just picks up information. So some mushkis wrote about me in some kind of an article somewhere that I provide chizuk for child abusers in the Orthodox community. I, Yehud Levin, who was the first one before Nachum Rosenberg, 15 years before him or more, before Dov Heikind, who only picked up Nachum Rosenberg. In 1987, I said in my radio program, there was tens of molesters in the world of Chinuch, and you got to teach your kids the facts of life. I got hauled down, as I told previously, to the Gedali Torah Masaira. And this Plutka, who doesn't do any research, Picks up some garbage from Wikipedia. I did research. I was right on what I said on that. I said, mild, she's only a wiffle head. Now I'm saying much darker. I apologize for being so nice. She is a prutza. She is a chaitas who machtias harabim. She prances around. She's a shachin raw running around town with a transgender. She's posting pictures on the internet. She's an Asian ish, and she poses on pictures with a, another man sitting so close to her. It's not one picture, and they're both reshmechelt. This is a role model. Am I in Alice in Wonderland, and nobody's going to say anything, and I have to get all the heat and all the hate? Where are the Rabbonim in the Shtat? I have to be the bad person to her and to her parents? You know what? There used to be a radio show host, Bob Grant. A lot of Fumer listened to him. He used to say, these things got to be said. Somebody's got to say it. And if nobody's saying it, I'll say it. Tonight, earlier tonight, this evening, earlier this evening, I spoke to a distinguished Talmud of Rav Avigdim Miller who wrote his svarim over, who attended his vaden, who spent probably thousands of hours with him over the years. He grew up on his knees, so to speak. And he knows Rav Miller inside and out. And he knows his tapes and he knows what he spoke. I said, Rav Miller famously spoke one time with a lady in the front, cover her udders. That's how he spoke about a prutza. I heard on tapes, he says, if you have a television in your living room, you're bringing in a toilet. And I think he might have said feces and urine. He spoke very stark. Ah, how do you do this? He's my Rebbe. I said, I have the license to pick a Rebbe. I asked him, am I out of line of what I'm fighting with this woman? And the criticism I'm giving? Would Rav Miller have said it? The Boston the Rebbe of Flatbush, years ago, to his credit, he announced in Shul the preachers was getting too much. He announced to the younger Weibelach, either you upgrade the sneers or out of the Shul. How many Rabbonim have done that in Flatbush? Called call out COVID, Boston the Rebbe. This was years ago. And people left. And he stood strong. Hashrecha, where are the rest of the Rabbonim? Believe me, none of those ladies that left 
came anywhere close to running around with transgendered and sending out pictures, to, sending out messages on your Instagram to 38,000 people or how many people she sent it out to good Chavez, please fraternize and dialogue with the gays, the lesbians, the bisexuals, the transgenders, and the queers, and the off the derrick people. She's encouraging people. We don't want people to stay away from the off the derrick people and only let professionals deal with them. No, she wants elementary school kids to read her chazerai. She says on the TV she's doing to elementary school kids. And you should see some of the comments that are made on her thing when she's in the priestistic address. The comments. Ladies, the passionists, ooh, this is new, that. And then priestistic men speaking about her body parts. That's what they want to arrange and vote for. I shouldn't say anything. It's politically incorrect. I'm going to accept. I'm sorry. I'm going to hurt her family. This and that. I, what she's going to do to our daughters and granddaughters, not by the dozens, by the hundreds, but maybe by the thousands, to lead them astray, that's okay. Footsteps light. Oh, yeah, boy, so what can I do? What can I do? I was programmed by Gedalia Shola VSD. I'm a lady. I have it in my blood from the time Moshe Rabbeinu said, Mila Hashem Eli. Cuomo was an extrajudicial bully. He's beating up on that lady. That lady had a heta. The chintzy said, I'm not going to be here at this and this time. You have to make an appointment before you get a marriage license. So the upset lady said, You're coming in, I can't give you the spot. You'll make an appointment. And whatever time you want to make an appointment, go to the other lady. There's two clerks. It's a voluntary position. She doesn't even get paid. So she strictly speaking covered herself. But extrajudicial, that means Lemaila Min Hadin, Governor Bully Cuomo, is going to try to go after her to score political points because he's running against liberal lesbian Cynthia Nixon and he has to shore up his left flank. He does this in so many areas, Cuomo. He's on the maneuver. But all oh, they hunt for him and then the Orthodox community comes to the yeshivas and they all clap. They take the kids out of yeshiva to clap for him. Absolutely. And many other things he's issued, what would be unconstitutional, illegal executive orders that are overreaching, but nobody says anything. Now, what lessons can we learn from the fact that it's in all the media for the last few days that there were between three and four hundred priests, child abusers, many of them pedophiles, in the eight di diocesan locations, eight dioceses in the state of Pennsylvania, and up to a thousand kids were molested, or as they say in music, molested. What lesson is this for us? Number one, as I visit as I go So when Hefkevelt and Lakewood has on a question about Cephas, what do we need it for? Who says there's so much molestation? So it's coming to a theater near you. We can safely assume that with the increase of schmutz and garbage and emphasis on Hamish Kavzacher activity and cashing it with rights and schmites and protections and anti discrimination and hate, and now with the marriage, there are definitely the more it's elevated, the more acceptable it becomes, and the more people experiment with it. That's number one. So don't criticize the Asifis. Even if they show out this one, they make money, I don't care. Anything that Asifis could do to light, illuminate, illuminate, and light a fire under the parents that they have to teach the kids how not to be touched from a very early age, and they've had Kedusha. But the Satmar Rebbe and the Sklander Rebbe said 40, 50 years ago in the Sipiksav. What other lesson is there? The other lesson is we're lucky that the media is busy concentrating on them because they're the big angelata, they're the big boy around the block, and they have a thousand molestations and three to four hundred priests. What happens if Hasfashom, they decide to look into the Orthodox community that's smaller and really dig in? Who knows what kind of chil Hashem? So we have to be thankful that Hashem is distracting them and they're dealing with the Ainu Yehudim and not the Yehudim. But we have to teach our kids and with that in mind, the JCC, it was reported that the JCC in Teaneck has, has a, a day camp with Jewish kids going there, not necessarily from, and preschool kids going there. And they have a molester, four parents came forward that the, that the children were molested. 
And now it's in all the papers, JCC, Jewish Community Center. They're coming to a theater near you. You better stop hiding these people. Surrender them to the police. It's not Masira. Get them out of the community. What else? It's Safania Center. Safania says everything we do is a message to you. Just like we see it by the night he's doing us a favor, Hashem. He's saying, wake up, Ochein, Achti Vitiki Musa. You have problems in the people you're supporting politically and making footsie with lowlifes who pr promote transgenderism, good old orthodox singer, Aaron Kotler, Rev Aaron Kotler, I didn't know, Finnish. Rev Aaron, why don't you come out with a letter? Why doesn't singer come out with a letter? I assure the community I will not vote for any other homosexual bill or any aspect of it. I won't vote for a bill, even if it's buried deep down, that pushes homosexual agenda or transgenderism. Why can't we see a letter? The answer is because nobody's home. They're not interested. They're not interested in, in, in tying his hands. They're not interested. But this thing, Hashem is sending us a message next door in Pennsylvania. It could come to you. There's an increase in molestations and schmutz. Do something about it. Youth library, the brainwash them more. Shame on you for not doing anything. It's all covered to be an askin, to get thank yous. I'm sure you do good. After 120 years, you're going to say, Askin, yeah, committee man, mayor, yeah, CEO of Lakewood, what did you do? Okay, moving right along. We still have around another 15 minutes. Let's see. One of the things I found out on my WhatsApp, WhatsApp, and I'm putting in big clashes too, because I want to build up a loyal resistance. I want to build up 10 and then 50 and then 100 people will be educated in how to uptice the news like I do based on the Red Miller, another Gedalia stroll, and how to react and how to stand up against the Flatbush girl types of things. I have to be mechanic the next door. I shouldn't be doing it. With all due respect, the Rosh Yeshiva should be doing it, the Mashkichim should be doing it, the Rebbe should be doing it, the seminary teacher should be doing it. But the Makam Shainish and it's Munach Ba'ashpa, Ekev Tishmun, they're stepping all over it. So I'll do it. I'll be Neutlus Chakin Neget Kulam. I'm trying to preach to these people on the WhatsApp. So understand, Zulu Musu Asali Kims have the miscreants, the malcontents. Not only that, but they want to make it exciting. It's Rilebedic. So all kinds of people start to pop up. The Jeff Lev that I spoke about, who's worked for the Governor Cuomo, worked for Bill de Blasio, he used to work for the OU, and he marches with the Rainbow Yamaka in the gay parade, and he tells me, I'm saving lives of suicide, and he tells me, when your children and grandchildren come out of the closet, I'll be there to help them. It's a civil rights issue. Up full of Pume. And, and he comes onto my site. He starts to argue with me. So that's a debate with me, but he's put in his place. Finally, after hours, he says, I'm leaving. I'm going. I have to get up at 6 o'clock tomorrow for the daf and for shachris, obviously. Toivel! The sheretz biyadai. Ain't the mevorech el minnaitz. A shmutziak! A chayti o machti! A chil el minnaitz. You should see how many pictures he... Force posted on my WhatsApp with Corey Johnson, the homosexual speaker of the New York City, and with this ice waff and that ice waff. Then Jeff Levy comes back and he goes, I'm back. Explanation, but we're so happy. And then he's getting real angry at me and he starts speaking Divrei Navola. This is the tzaddik who's learning the daf in the morning. I'm in the vol. You get frustrated when they can't out debate. There's a to Navola. Then there's Chaim Levin, the famous. Mishkov Zachanik, who I believe he was molested, he says, by his cousin. And then he says, it had nothing to do with that. He can't even face the coffee. That's not why. I is a statistic that 30% were molested, become homosexual. They, 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 they start to get a cheshik for that activity if they get it in the teen years or at the right time. And that's what happened with him. And could have affected his quote-unquote sexuality. No, he's denying it. So he came on also and he's debating with me and getting smacked around. 
That's what it is. So I feel my Yishma of Yero, Dama Lashav Lapikaris. You have to do no, the Rabbanim are not doing it. They don't get up in shuls to speak about it. There's a whole class of people, not only these nidrical lowlifes, there's a whole class of people, thousands of them. Not only tuna bagels in the Hasidic Olam, empty heads. There's the equivalent of the tuna bagels in the Flatbush Olam, in Staten Island, all over the place. Thousands of yin. What do we care what two people do in there in the in the Chadre Chadarim? How does it affect us? We want freedom. All this claptrap talk. They don't know the Aleph of Ashkafa. First of all, they make more and more laws. The day will come, your daughter will be in the bathroom, and some wacker who thinks he's a man, he's a lady, will come into the bathroom. The law will protect him. Sugar knows. That's what they're trying to do. I have a question for Flatbush Lady. If Abby is already a lady, you understand, Rabbi Weinrib, the head of OU, gets on Zeb Brenner to discuss. You hear the big Shiloh the OU Nick is discussing. You know what the Shiloh is? If a transgender comes to shul, he's formerly a he. Now he's a she. He's a he, she, or a she, he. Can't discriminate. We've got to put the lady's name first also half the time. Where does the she, he sit on? What side of the machitza? You hear? This is what the Chamoyrim are discussing. I said it, Chamoyrim. It's playing the halacha. Yeah. This is what we're dealing with, Rabbi Isai. So, other people, what do we have against gays? What's in our business? It doesn't hurt us. It doesn't hurt you. There's not enough Jewish organizations that are gay, that are officially orthodox. Gay Lesbian, bisended, queer, shmir, alumni of yeshivas and day schools. It's a 15-year-old organization. Orthodikes, that's lesbians, orthodox, whether they are or not, but that's what they call themselves. Hod, in Eretz Yisrael, Hod. How about Eishel? Is not enough? You think we're not affected? When she breaks down the resistance to gays? Oh, my heroine, who I want to dress like her, I want to be like her. I want to break the glass ceilings. And she's running around with this transgender. Firmly Hasidic, and she's all lovey-dovey, and she said we should dialogue. So she's my hero. She's my female lippish schmelzer. Yeah. She wants to be... Yeah. Rabbi Sai, this is what we have against. In Eretz Yisrael, a good is getting smacked around by the Supreme Court. We read in Lahavim this week, Lahava, Lahavim, whatever the newspaper is called. They, they're being forced to change their constitution that women can run for office to become in, in, in the party, to become the party's candidates. And if they don't respond by September, the Supreme Court might rule the begats against them. And there also was a thousand rabbis meeting about Gia Kalocha because there's pressure from the government, former minister Moshe and Nissim, in charge of this thing, Mamish making Goyim into Yidin. Avol Hashem With all the kissing up that goes on by a good there, here, and everywhere, etc., etc. What do you think they're facing such problems for? I want to speak in the final minutes about a topic I spoke about on my WhatsApp. I call it the holy hypocrites. The Rambam said, we all do sins. Get in disguise. Take off the yarmulke. Jeff Leb, you schwanz. If you had to march, you had to wear a rainbow yarmulke. You idiot. What were you putting on your head? A rainbow. A rainbow is the sign of the Avera that God destroyed the world for. The marble because of Kaisu Ksubal Zocha. We're not supposed to look at a rainbow. Maybe because it's not, it's, 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 it's maskeros the chet, maybe, I'm saying a svara. So he puts the rainbow right on top of that medulla and cerebellum and cerebrum, the idiot, right on top of his brains. The half the person puts on tefillin, he puts it where it's a rafia, where the original hole of the baby's cranium was, and there's something supernatural going on there, etc. So this idiot, this chayti machti. This Machal Shem Shirayim Veravim, Jeff Lev. I'm not trying to be nice to him. I'm complimenting him. 
I'm not calling him names. I'm describing him. He's not embarrassed. He does it. So this is how we interpret it. He wears a rainbow yarmulke. He couldn't be Yilba Shkairim. He shouldn't be recognized. No, other of it in your face. Flatbush Mama, in your face with the transvestite. And she's going to get your vote because all you suckers are going to vote for her. Yiddish and Madel, it's Givaldic. Check out, you'll see, you'll see Mir Hashem on the internet. I made some YouTube videos. It's on this parody spoofing, giving her an endorsement. I endorse her clothing. I endorse her sheetas. I endorse that we have to speak to gays. I gave her an endorsement. So she's the best thing. She'll help you. Maybe the gula, you got to see it. It's really funny. Kill them with humor. That's what we have to do. So a holy hypocrite means like this. I give a marshal. Let's say a person is a captain in the industry, he's a multimillionaire, and he's approached by a national anti pornography organization. And to help to stop people from being poor, because it ruins their marriages, it ruins their relationships, and everything. So he says, Okay, here's a half a million dollars. Meanwhile, an intrepid reporter, a snoop, a voyeur, is following him all around, and he sees how he sneaks into a triple X disgusting movie and he's watching pornography. So the guy comes out in the newspaper, he's such a hypocrite, he donated a half a million dollars to fight pornography and he's a mushkrit who's going to pornography. So he can do two things now. You can say, okay, you outed me, so now my place is with the pornographers, freedom of expression, freedom of the press, no censorship, none of this puritanical attitudes, he can take that approach. Or he can say, I'm sorry, I have a taiva for this, but I realize it's wrong, and I hope that God should give me the strength to defeat it. And I'm happy I gave a half a million dollars against to fight against this addiction, the porn addiction. And that's chus that I gave the tzedakah, mida connected mida. Hashem should help me cure myself. In other words, we have to start to be holy hypocrites. You're going to do the Avera, keep it low, keep it to yourself. Not like what Flatbush Girl does. The Fahasia, she tramps, she, she, she introduces and traipses around, dances around with the first Hasidic transgender, Abby Stein. <laughs> Understand? I want to say Vaita. Be a hypocrite like this. The person goes to see pornography. You know, they have it on the internet all the time. Schmutz, schmutz, schmutz. He acknowledges a big problem in the front community. So I'm telling you something. I'm giving you a segula nobody gave so far. I just thought of it today. Let the poor head go. He should dive in. Of course, he should dive for himself. That's the most effective thing. But he should also dive in that other people should not become poor heads. And that the ones who are should have the strength and the fortitude to overcome it. So here the hypocrite can be taking a chasarin, he can be making it into a mila and ruchnis to show he cares really about himself and, and more importantly, he cares about all of Klai Yisrael. And if we can find people to do this, we can start to mount a counter-revolution. In the remaining moments, we have three or four minutes. Let's see, what else is it that we should, might have skipped? Oh, the Yankees. The Yankees are the last team in baseball that has not had a pride, quote-unquote, celebration of the Mishka Vezocha. The last of the Mohicans, the last holdout, the national pastime, all the other sports, basketball, football, hockey, they're all much more homosexual, gay-friendly, view myself. Baseball, they were working on, they are working on, this is the way they work on the minds, these Mishka Vezocha. They want you to be surrounded with it. You shouldn't have a braira. The Supreme Court of Israel is doing that to Goodness Israel now. So the Yankees are the last of the Mohicans, the last holdout. They couldn't hold that anymore. They're going to have in the next week, they're going to have a special gay night. Special, special. It's very sad because also if you apply Stefania 6, it's because of our colors. We are the big picture. They are the shadow. Like when you stand in front of the sun, you cast a giant shadow. We are casting the shadow. And then it goes back. If the Yidden don't care enough, the crystal gets worse and worse. And this is what's happening. There's going to be a time, not this in the future, 
You're going to be thrilled with how good it was back now. It's coming to a theater near you. The place site is very, very, we must do the WhatsApp. The reason for it is to gather a group and call your soul that's willing to fight back. Here is the hotline number again, 641 715 3900. 641 715 3900. 247656 is the extension you have to pa patch in, punch in. 247656. Abaisai, let's take some hard steps like the Boston the Rav did, like what Avig the Miller would do. And I, a hundred servant, it's not popular, it's not politically correct. Stand up for Kedusha now. We want Kedusha. Recently, I put out a video this week calling on, on Aguda, I'm sorry, Lubavitch. They created a monster named Shumri Bateh. He's going around making a walking show Hashem. They one time disassociated themselves from him. He gets married, he has his kids marry Lubavitches. He's welcome to the community. He walks around with impunity from the community. And I said that Chabad, if they insulted the Rebbe, you would never let him go over it, get over it. Every day for the rest of the guy's life, he'll beat him. But here they insulted the Rebbe, who was anti-homosexual hashkasi. He wrote a sicha. He spoke in the sicha. And he wrote a letter against transsexuals. So here they're insulting the Rebbe, but more importantly, insulting God Almighty, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. What is Chabad doing about it? They have to keep on denouncing Shmuley Bateach in papers and ads and everything to truly show COVID for the Rebbe and the Rebbe's Rebbe, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Until we meet again next week, please spread the word about the hotline, spread the word about the video, spread the word about the WhatsApp, and listen to Heshi Tishla on Monday night and check in with Zebrano on Matzi Shabbos and see if it's I'm on, see if I'm on the podcast. And as... The great Martin Luther King said, we shall overcome, baby. This is Yehuda 11 wishing you a good Shabbos, a good Chodesh, a good Ndomen, a good Chodesh, 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 a good